Hi guys, no legs again. This time another helpful video for Skull and Bones. Anybody struggling to do Lepest's lockers from the pass, the smuggler's pass? Well, I've got a bit of a solution for you. If you're struggling to kill Lepest, which he is hard because of his stupid mortars around his ship that he does, I've got a solution for you. Wait for the video, watch it, and you'll see how easy it is to get the lockers enjoy the video right guys so first of all you want to get 10 of the plague heads in your cargo on your ship as you can see now transfer it just 10 that's all you need here I had a friend with me helping me out and we set off straight from St. Anne's and as you can see hostile instantly as soon as you leave the outpost that's what happens and you can see automatic one bone star level as i call it star level as you see battle the ships completely massively destroy them i have got the schematic to see the weak points on these ships which helps a hell of a lot so if you haven't got it go and get it it's in the in the pass the smugglers pass I'll obviously build that up and doing this as well you do get infamy from killing all these ships the way to do it is keep killing these ships till you get four star bone level. So on that, the plague stars in the top right corner. That's what you see. You see, you must get it to four star. As you can see now, still hostile. Destroy this ship completely. Again, one thing I will tell you while you're doing it, make sure you are near a plunder plunder place like I am here in this video because you're gonna need to sell the stuff that's on you as you can see now guys we are bone star 2 so you just keep doing this constantly keep doing it like I say before make sure you are near a plunder place so you can sell like I am doing right now just sell everything you get a lot a lot of silver literally 5,000 every time I'm selling it's crazy I was gonna collect my <laughs> pieces of eight then but I didn't but yes please keep watching guys if you really want to see and to show that it's true you'll see towards the video it doesn't just drop one locker in this video he drops three it's not even Le Pest either you'll see keep watching Right folks, still fighting now, as you see, still two star. I must say as well, having the furniture from crew attacks, which gives you a little bit of health back, is very useful in battles like this. As you can see, all the infamy I'm getting loads still. And there we go, a locker just out of one of them random ships. Sometimes they drop them, sometimes they don't. So it's just hit and miss really with the normal ships. But keep watching guys, keep watching and you'll see there is ships with green smoke on the top when you hit four bone stars. As I said earlier guys, here you see me look, again going to sell, this is a must when you're doing this. It's a hell of a lot easier way of getting these lockers and if you need all the ten for the smugglers pass, this is the way. The pest is just far too hard unless you've got four or five people completely smashing him to smithereens as I say I'm trying to keep this video short so it's easier for people any questions do pop them in the comments by all means and I'll try and reply to each one of you as you see here still still got the one locker that I picked up earlier in the video that was just from a random normal ship one of the petulant ships not even the one with the green smoke so the ones with the green smoke I reiterate will Nine times out of ten, guaranteed to drop a Le Pest locker. It's not every time, but it will drop one. So you just have to keep an eye out and keep using your binoculars or spy scope, whatever they call it in these. Ha -ha. That's what you have to do. As you see, this keeps spawning, look, every single time. I'm still on two bone stars here, they keep spawning. You just have to keep running around, going and selling your stuff. Keep roaming around and they will just spawn. You'll hear is a ping and they'll spawn back. 
as you see now any second now you'll see me hit three bone levels in the top right corner and more ships spawn they are rogue ships though these ones but yes they will help though because obviously the more damage you're doing to rogue ships the more that these petulance ones will spawn anyway so just keep at it keep going as you see any second now guys i have cut this video down but we have just hit four bone star levels of hostility we're very very dangerously hostile now which it does help hugely to be very very hostile like i say at the beginning of the video you must have had 10 heads do not sell them do not get rid of them do not do nothing with them you have to keep them on you my friend that was with me he was doing it with me he did have a head on him as well you don't have to but we do it just because it keeps both of us hostile then because we're in a group if that helps then it does yeah if you are liking this video please don't forget drop a like on it if you're finding it helpful drop a comment tell me let me know how you got on here's where it got a bit hairy we've got a lot of us after us this is normally a sign that it's about to happen we did get another company on us which wasn't helping but yes as you can see I have the schematics on still still not changed nothing everything is still the same and with the same guy still my friend that's helping me do it still got four levels like I say you do have to hammer a lot of ships good for him for me though because it helps you progress the smugglers pass up another little tip there for you so here now we had to roam around a little bit it was flashing we wasn't losing them they will just slow down eventually and one will spawn sometimes sometimes you just get another ones that are just the normal petulance ones will just come after you again they'll just keep doing that you'll hear a ding anyway when one does spawn i stated earlier on but now here guys here is where you watch i was just selling my stuff as i said earlier on in the video and look bang behind my mate shouts there's one behind there's one behind look one there and he's got a locker on him There we go, see? He's got a locker on him, guys. So it does spawn once there. As you see again in the video, in a minute, you'll see another one spawn. Doesn't have a locker. So I, like I said earlier, it does not guarantee every single time. And here you go. Just shows you, look, one has spawned again while I was in my inventory slash cargo. As you can see, doesn't have a locker on him. So it's not guaranteed every single time. So you just got to be patient and wait. But it's a hell of a lot easier than killing the pest. Try the pest on your own, it's solid. Even with a team, I've tried it with two of us, it's still solid. And now we've got better weapons, we probably could kill him. But I've killed him once and that was due to the fact that we had four or five players around him. Just got to do that as well. If you do see him, the pest, try that as well. But this is a hell of a lot easier way. I will reiterate it again. You have to have 10 plague heads on you, which you can get them from the plague bringers, which are dead easy. Them little small, tiny little line boats. Just get them off them. They're very easy. And as you can see, still got full star now. We killed that. Didn't have one on him. Likewise, roaming around again. Bang, one spawns behind me again. And this time has a locker again. So this is what I mean guys, it is helpful, we've got three out of these, one of them was a random at the beginning, one was in the middle, one spawned, didn't get one, third one spawned, bang, we got it, I'm quite happy with that, and that's just three, easy, and then just open them, you'll get the challenges, and just keep doing that, if you come on with your friends and you, you can't collect your pieces of eight because they're not ready yet, etc, go and do it, it's actually a lot of fun. That's the end of the video, folks. I'll see you in a second. 
for the necessaries. If you've reached the end of this video, thank you very much for watching. Enough of me waffling on now. Let's get to the necessaries. If you did like it, please drop a thumbs up. If, it's, if you found it very helpful, please drop a comment and let me know. I'd really like to know if it has helped people because I struggled with the Le Pest and I ended up having to actually just come across this where I had so many heads on me because I just kept killing them because I needed them for the challenge. I just did it and that was it. So I managed to just stumble across it. So I thought I'd put a video out for you guys and let you help. Thanks for watching, folks. See you on the next one.